this is Shauna here with Shauna Reese Vlog. I am back today with another video. In today's video, I will be sharing a Dollar Tree haul. Um, half of the stuff is from about a week and a half ago. And then the other half is um, from yesterday. I went yesterday. So, um, I have enough to do a haul now. <laughs> so, here I am. The first time I went, it just... It was pretty much, wait, hold on, was it this bag? Yeah. So, it was this bag the first time I went, and it's just, it wasn't enough. So, I just stuck it in my closet and waited, and I didn't go to the Dollar Tree for, like, maybe five days, and then finally I went um, yesterday. So, here I am, y'all. Um, before I get started, I hope everyone's doing good, the best that they, you can. We know life's crazy. We know life's busy. We, we're all dealing with something, going through something. Even if it's just um, a busy season of life, my kids will be out of school next week for spring break. We're not going anywhere, but um, um, I don't even know if we're going anywhere for summertime, to be honest. Um, my kids are kind of, we usually go to the beach in Florida, and my kids are kind of tired of that. So, yes, we could do something else, but we may just hold off this year, but may go, like, to water parks, maybe, like, um, tubing down the river. Who, who knows? We'll do something fun, but, um, and I know that's off topic, but... For spring break, we will be cleaning up the yard. They're not excited, but I am. <laughs> they dread um, picking up pine cones, doing all those things. But it's not like I make them do it every day. And they're teenage boys. They can help their mama, right? Enough of my rambling about spring break and all the things. <laughs> Let me jump into this haul, okay? Always tell you guys, scan your tickets on Fetch. Hopefully this isn't the, is this the one from yesterday? Yeah, so this is good. I've already scanned that one from a week and a half ago because you can scan it up till 14 days, which I still could have scanned it, but I already scanned that one. This one was from yesterday, so I need to scan this one. And y'all, I'm not going to lie, a lot of this stuff is candy, food, snacks, stuff like that. But I found some good items um, a week and a half ago and um, yesterday. I found some really good things. So, I'm just going to jump into it. Uh, I bought these hot shoes before, but this is a reduced sugar, 30% less sugar. So, I thought I would pick that up just to kind of... See if that one tastes if my kids still like that one and it's a little bit less sugar so we'll have to give that one a try but um i know the regular hutches are pretty decent so we'll just wow this is a good source of fiber never knew that and this is mango and strawberry they brought the fruities bag my husband and i love these so much they brought them back I did get two bags, and which I, Josh and I already ate one, so um, I'm just showing you this one pack. These are really good, y'all. And in the Easter section, they had some new jelly beans, which new to me because I've never seen them. I don't know if they're new just in general. But these are the Kool-Aid flavored jelly beans. I'm going to use these to make my um, teenagers a little small Easter basket. I don't go all out. I showed you a video of them. Or not them. I showed, <laughs> I showed you a video of um, me doing their little Valentine's Day one. So, I kind of do the same thing for Easter. Nothing fancy. Nothing out like huge or anything just mainly some candies in a basket honestly um i enjoy doing things like that so i know my kids are teenagers but they're still my children so i got the kool-aid one <clears throat> and then i got um two packs of the jello jelly beans I think these are gonna be good. So I got two packs of those because I wanna try one. 
And then I want to put one in one of their Easter baskets. These are new to me as well. Um, on the package, it says they are back. I, honestly, I bought three packs of these. And yesterday, I tried one of the packs. These are good. I should have got more. Um, these are so good. I got um, two of them to put in the kids' Easter basket. But they are so good. I don't know if I'll save them for them because they are so good. <laughs> It says cereal straws, but um, I just ate them like as little wafers, honestly. They're so good. And they taste like Fruit Loops, honestly. This is something else I'll be putting in their Easter basket um, for Lathan. I will be doing, because he likes Peeps. So I found the Peeps gummy marshmallow flavored. So I'll put those in Lathan's um, basket. And then for Brendan, I will put the dots in his because he likes those. So, I'll put those in his basket. My husband likes gummy bears. So, I got two packs of those. He's already, he already ate one because I did pick these up um, a week and a half ago. So, he don't even know I have this one left. So, um, that will be a surprise for him. Got two of the... Um, I thought these were called Big Mamas, but maybe it's like two different flavors, but I did get two of them. Brendan already ate one. He really likes these. I, um, it's like a pickled sausage. I can't eat that, but he likes them. I got, um, I think I got three of the Jack Links with the Pepper Jack. I like the ones with the Pepper Jack better. It just, um, the cheese tastes a little bit better for me. And honestly, I like to put mine in the refrigerator. It, um, it don't taste as like slimy like, or more like artificial taste. I put mine in the refrigerator. But something else I'm going to, uh, and this is a little babyish, but it was still cute. Um, these are just Peeps Pop, um, little suckers. So, um, I got two of them. I'm gonna put those in their little Easter basket. You can just press the button and there's a little sucker. So it's a little kiddie-ish, but they'll still eat the sucker. It's just candy, right? Just got um, these little Skittle eggs, just to have an egg in the basket, you know, because it is Easter. So just to have a shape of an egg, because I'm not gonna buy like a container of eggs to put in there because the basket will be kind of small. I got two of these hazelnut spreads and I did buy two. Brendan already ate one and he said they were really good. They're kind of um, the same way um, as the Nutella little cups um, they have in the grocery store. So it's just an off brand or um, I don't know if this is a name brand or not but he said it was good so there's another one he don't know i have and i got this betty crocker muffin top and the muffin top the top part is absolutely the best to me i know a lot of people that have watched do um you know dollar tree hauls they all say the same thing but it is true the top part is the best in my opinion. So I guess in everybody's opinion. So I may make these on Sunday morning, but this is what they look like. But this isn't bad for $1.25, not bad. Got some Crunch and Munch caramel, caramel popcorn with peanuts. The, the last time I got the red one, I don't know, um, I think it was caramel too. I got it for um, Josh and I's little couple Valentine's movie night um, little basket that I made. And I have not, we both have not had that in a very long time and it was good. So yesterday, whenever I was at the Dollar Tree, I just was walking by because I had to get, or I didn't have to get, um, <laughs> Avalanche. Um, Brendan had asked for some regular popcorn. He just likes to snack on that. So I did get some regular popcorn and while I was on that aisle, I just seen this. So I was like, I'll pick it up and 
if I want to snack on it, Josh wants to snack on it, whoever wants to snack on it, it will be there. I got these little Snyder's um, little mini packs of pretzels. My husband loves these little packs of pretzels. So, and y'all, my husband on it, he is not a big snacker. Me and the kids are, obviously, <laughs> but he is not. Um, I'm not saying he don't eat any snacks. He does, but mainly it's like pretzels, um, popsicles at nighttime, like the little blue packs of popsicles from um, Dollar Tree where they're like liquid and then you freeze them. He likes those and um, gummy bears. He used to like those. Um, he likes Tootsie Rolls too. He used to like those little hard, um, uh, I can't think of the name of them. They're little hard candies, and I was searching everywhere for them. Um, he says that they hurt his teeth, so, and he's had a lot of dental work here recently, so we don't want to break those um, very expensive teeth that he got. <laughs> so he cannot eat that anymore. Not these. I've never seen these before. I will look the, the price up of these, and then I'll put it on the screen. But these, these look nice. These look um, healthy. Um, I got the r original roasted potato seasoning mix. That looks good. Can't wait to try that. I got um, the street taco seasoning mix. And for the last one, I got, it's called Asian style stir fry seasoning mix. So I only saw these three. Um, I didn't see any different ones, just these three. So I'm excited to give these a little taste to see if they're any good. And I have bought this um, complete seasoning before and I absolutely love this seasoning so much. It is so good, so good. But while I was there, um, looking at the seasonings, I, you know, a couple of hauls back, I found the Kinder's barbecue sauce. I found the Kinder's seasoning. I buy this at the grocery store all the time. I absolutely love the Kinder seasoning, and I am just shocked that it is at freaking Dollar Tree. And it's good until the 20, 2024, this one is. This is the garlic and herb. And I've used this one before, so I know it's stinking good. And the date on it is 10-11-2024. And then this is a bigger one. So, like, I don't know if you can tell the difference. So, the garlic and herb is... 2.4 ounce. And then the seafood blend is 4.75 ounce. And then the date on the seafood one is, dun, 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 dun. Where is it, Shauna? Ah, I, I don't see it. Oh, here it is, here it is. Yeah, it's good till 11, 17, 2024. So these still got a, about a year or a little over a year on them. So I'm not really sure why these ended up at the Dollar Tree. Um, maybe a store put them on clearance or something and that's because that's honestly how like when we get the name brand cereals and stuff like that I did see some name brand family size Cheerios but they're pumpkin spice and I do not do pumpkin spice so them stayed at the that that stayed at the store I just I was not gonna nobody in my house would eat it so why would I buy it I see all kinds of new things y'all at the Dollar Tree and I don't buy them every time. I'm just not gonna buy something new if um, we're either not gonna use it or I can't like give it to someone as a gift. I'm sorry, um, I'm gonna save my dollar 25, but these I will definitely use. And guys, I got multiple of these because I use this seasoning all the time and I love it. All right, is that all for the food? Yeah, that was all food that I just showed you. So, in the Crazy Socks, and that is the brand of them, Crazy Socks, they had so many different ones, but I chose the two ones. 
My mom loves little crazy socks like this. Not necessarily the brand crazy socks, which these are. She just likes fun graphic type socks. And I got the cup of noodles because my son, my oldest son, he really likes noodles. So I got those like for, you know, to be funny for him, but for her to wear. And then Lathan likes the Sour Patch Kids. So I got those. Um, so I'm gonna give those back to my mom. I was really shocked by this. Dollar Tree, I, I don't know if Dollar Tree, I really think Dollar Tree is catching up with the trends. It's either those trends are going out of style and Dollar Tree is like getting them now or Dollar Tree is keeping up with the trend. I still see people that, um, like on the internet that do makeup and stuff, they wear the little headbands and I wear mine all the time. And this is a cheetah print one. I will say, I'm going to go ahead and open I bought a pink one too, but I did um, already give that one to my niece for her birthday. I will say this one is a little, it's a little bit smaller than the one that I have. Um, but still, this is, I want to, let me go get me, go get mine and I'll just show you like the size different. So I'm sure if you've watched any of my um, like makeup videos or sometimes Josh, if we're doing like a mask, he will wear um, this one. So like, and this is probably stretched out, but it's, um, you know, it's just a little bit bigger. Like you can tell, like. And I don't know if this is, I don't think it's for kids. It doesn't say for kids. So maybe it just needs to be stretched out. Yeah, I don't see anywhere where it says just for children. So maybe it just needs to be stretched out. But that is super cool. Um, this is made a little, little wonky. I don't know if you can tell, but like it's made a little wonky. But um, not bad for $1.25. So... I will definitely wear that, and I love cheetah print. Y'all know I love cheetah print. Cheetah print is, I can wear that every day. So, super cute. I got this LA Colors tattoo stamp pen. They had different ones. They had like a heart, a moon. I just got the um, transfer proof. I just got the one with like the little, what I get? Stars? Yeah, with the stars. I thought that was pretty cute. They had a new little line or like a brand. This is the only thing they that I got out of it. Um, they had um, toothbrushes, floss. They had the um, toothpick floss. They had um, another um, cotton swab. But I just got this one. And y'all, we've already opened it up to um, try. These are very sturdy. Very, very sturdy. And I wish that I would have gotten more because honestly, let me show you the product first, okay? I'm sorry. And see how they have like those little ridge um, on them? So, I should have got more, honestly. So, I got this a week and a half ago whenever I went back um, yesterday because I tend to go to some... Sometimes I will go to different Dollar Trees, but for the most part, I go to the one in Brandon because it is just so good. So, um, I go to that one a lot. So, I went there yesterday and they were already sold out of these, but these are good and they're sturdy. You know, like the, the original brand from Dollar Tree, they are very flimsy and my husband's like, please do not get these flimsy, um, cotton swabs so and he approved of these you only get 150 but still that's not bad 150 so and look at the packaging uh tell me that's not cute um y'all know i'm a sucker for packaging and honestly that's what got me and these are eco friendly and i'll probably just keep these like in my gift bin these are active wireless um, earbuds, and I'll look up the price of these to let you guys know exactly how much these cost, but these are blue, blue, <laughs> oh God, I cannot talk, Bluetooth, um, so you can hook it up to Bluetooth, and I just thought these were really nice, 
Um, so I did pick those up. I got this little um, garden flag because like I said, we will be doing our outside porch just to kind of refresh it a little bit. Not going to be doing a whole lot of new items, but just refreshing, cleaning, just getting it a little bit cleaner out there. So I got this little home sweet home garden flag. I got another one from Dollar General that was a dollar, which y'all, these do not last you know, years and years, but for a season, like for the summertime, yes, it will do just fine. And they had the gnome one, but y'all, I'm, y'all, I love gnomes. I really do, but I'm kind of fading out of the gnomes. I know. Fading out of redone, fading out of the gnomes. It just, you know, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I like more neutral looking things and like I do have a white gnome that I do sit outside. I'll probably still use that because he is white, but like the bright colored stuff, I just, I'm not really into that. I'm, I don't know, but that's just me. So I got this one. It just says home sweet home with the flowers and it's got little bees. If you watched the video before this, I did. Um, like a Walmart, TJ Maxx, and Target haul. Just a few things from each store. And I bought these little hanging mag, I don't know what they're called. They're like, um, kind of like rope and you put like a flower pot in them. I don't know what they're called. I'm sure y'all can tell me down in the comments. Macamade, Macarang, I, I don't know what they're called y'all. Words are hard and I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I just know they're super cute and I wanted to use them this year. So I got these two to set them in and look at that color. That is so cute. I love the color and I think that is going to be very cute, very boho looking um, out there on my front porch. So I got two of those. And y'all for, for my last item, I got, I'll have to look this up too. This is a Fur Shark Pet Remover, Pet Hair Remover. And which Jelly Bean, before, Jelly Bean did not. Jelly Bean is my um weenie, my double dapple weenie dog. Most of you guys already know who Jelly Bean is. He's most of the time star of the show because <laughs> he follows his mama everywhere. He, and he's already came because I'm in my bedroom and he's already came to the door like five times. I've heard him whine, but um I just didn't want to stop the video and then cut, get him. So um he has tried to get in here. <laughs> you best believe that. But he normally does not shed a lot. But when he's nervous or when he gets out of the bathtub, um, anything like that, he does shed. So I got this and you can honestly use this on your couch. Oh, you can use this auto in your car. So this, honestly, this may be good for, I should have got two. This may be good for whenever Josh details cars and like a lot of people have, um, you know, like fur and stuff whenever he's detailing the vehicle, but this is what it looks like. So I'll look up the price and let you guys know exactly how much this um, retails for. But I think I had, I know it was a lot of food and snacks, but I think it was a pretty good haul. I found some really good items and I was very happy with this haul. So let me know in the comments, what, what item did you like the best? Let me know, I would love to know. And that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. It will, I don't know if I'll put it all in one video, but it will be our outside refresh, makeover, getting everything cleaned up for springtime. So if you would like to see that video, stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. And I, you all know, know I love the comments. That is really honestly why I keep um, making videos because I love spending time with you guys and I know my channel is not really growing and I could just stop honestly but I really y'all I don't know what just happened but the phone just turned off that was very weird so I do apologize um I hope I will not know what um what cut off until I start editing this so I am so sorry y'all but, um, like I was saying, I know my channel's really not growing that much, and, um, that's the boys coming in, they were playing basketball outside, so, <sighs> third time, let me get it, 
just say it, Shauna. Just say it. You have people watching. Um, I know my channel's not really growing, but um, I, like I said, I enjoy spending time with you guys. I love reading the comments. Y'all are so sweet to me. And honestly, that's what keeps um, me wanting to do these videos. Um, because honestly, it, it does take time to edit these videos. Like sometimes like on my um, Sunday videos, it takes me like an hour and a half just to edit those videos. So it does take a little bit of time out of my day, but I enjoy doing it. I really do. I enjoy filming. I enjoy um, spending time with you guys and interacting with you guys. So it would be nice if my channel would grow. That is the whole purpose of all this, but um, maybe it's just not my time and that's okay. God is the one in control and he knows, um, you know, how fast or how slow on my channel needs to grow. But at this point, I'm just rambling. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next one. Mm -hmm.